Good afternoon, folks. This afternoon, I'm going to spend a little bit of time reading here in Psalm chapter 22, one of the uh, pivotal passages relative to the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. Psalm 22, verse 1, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Why art thou so far from helping me from the words of my roaring? O oh, my God, I cry in the daytime, but thou hearest not. And in the night season, I am not silent. But thou art holy, O thou, that inhabitest the praises of Israel. Our fathers trust in thee, they trust in thou didst deliver them. They cried unto thee, and were delivered. They trust in thee, were not confounded. But I am a worm and no man, a reproach of men, and the spies of the people. All they that see me laugh me to scorn. They shoot out the lip, they shake their heads, saying, He trusts on the Lord that he would deliver him. Let him deliver, deliver him, seeing he delighted in him. But thou art he that took me out of the womb, thou didst make me hope when I was upon my mother's breasts. I was cast upon thee from the womb, thou art my God from my mother's belly. Be not far from me, for trouble is near, for there is none to help. Many bulls have compassed me, strong bulls of Bashan have beset me round. They gaped upon me with their mouths as a ravening and roaring lion. I am poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax, it is melted in the midst of my bowels. My strength is dried up like a potsherd, and my tongue cleaved to my jaws, and thou hast brought me into the dust of death. For dogs have compassed me, the assembly of the wicked have enclosed me, they pierce my hands and my feet. I may tell all my bones, they look and stare upon me, they part my garments among them and cast lots upon my vesture. But be not thou far from me, O Lord, all my strength. Haste thee to help me. Deliver my soul from the sword, my darling, from the power of the dog. And stop right there. So we see here his appeal to God in prayer. Why hast thou forsaken me? We know now it stemmed from the fact that our sins were being judged on the Lord Jesus Christ. He talks here, he says, but I am a worm and no man. A reproach of men and the spies of the people. He was reduced to a state of stature that he compares to a worm. He's the Lord of glory. He's the creator of the ends of the earth. Yet he's reduced to the stature of a worm. All they that see me laughing to scorn. The world thought this was a this was a big joke that the sins of the world were being placed on the shoulders of Jesus Christ. They shake their head, saying, He trusted on the Lord that He would deliver him. Let him deliver him, seeing he delighted in him. That was the charge there at the cross. This is quoted in your New Testament. He talks about the bulls. Bulls are something that carries strength. Well, the leadership of the day who would be compared as a bull in the time of Christ, they uh, compassed him about. They gaped upon him as a ravening and a roaring lion. You know, when the scriptures speak about our adversary, the devil is a roaring lion. He walks about seeking whom he may devour, whom resists steadfast in the faith. These, this devouring component of man's evil nature was, was culminated at the cross and showed man's despairing evil nature to the fullest extent and then he goes through some of the torturing elements that he experienced while he was on the cross he says I am poured out like water you know when they stuck the spear in the Lord Jesus Christ and the water gushed out he says and all my bones are out of joint the excruciating pain that he underwent during the cross causes his joints to be through discomfort to be dislodged from their normal places. My heart is like wax that is melted and missed my bowels. His heart is, is melting inside. He's losing strength as time persists. My strength is dried up like a potsherd and my tongue cleaves to my jaws. When the water is removed from his body and he's becoming dehydrated and his tongue is cleaving to the roof of his mouth and he says that thou hast brought me into the dust of death for dogs have compassed me 
dogs were a symbol of a Gentile who were uncircumcised, who had no relationship with God. They can pass him a boat, and despite the fact that he's being compassed about for, uh, with these dogs, it was for these very dogs that can pass him about that he's on that cross paying for their sins. I may tell all my bones to look and stare upon me. Under the law that the Passover lamb, not a bone was to be broken. And all his bones here were accounted for, despite the brutal, the brutal uh, visage that he has, as the book of Isaiah states, his visage was so marred, more than any man, more than any man. You would not have recognized Jesus Christ if someone didn't tell you who he was. He was so brutally beaten. They parted my garments among them and did cast lots upon my vesture. Well, we know that took effect. It's quoted in your New Testament as well. But be not thou far from me, O Lord, on my strength. Haste thee to help me. Deliver my soul from the sword, my darling, from the power of the dog. Well, God the Father did. He raised him up. As he touches on in the book of Isaiah 53, he raised him up for you and I as dogs uncircumcised you stand here justified here today because we have a savior who is prepared to go through all this for you and me if you're not saved plead the blood of Jesus Christ today accept him as your savior confess, believe, and receive he died for your sins according to the scriptures that he was buried and that he rose again on the third day according to the scriptures. And he'll come good on his end. He says, And thou shalt be saved, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation.